Hello, this is Ute from Ute Savarovich Corner. May you realize our finished preparation area. We have here the preparation. We have here all the herbs, the finished cups, and you have to come and see. So I just came in and I eat all of them already. It's supposed to be in our salad slash lettuce. And it's hot. It's really hot outside. You're sweating, but perfectly fine. You know why? I want to show you that. What I'm showing you, or what we are showing you now, is our homemade natural deodorant. And as I said, I, it's really hot. I'm not sweating. Of course I'm sweating, but there's no odor, right? So, our natural deodorant, I still have the blackberry in my mouth, <laughs> uh, is a gentler alternative for your underarms or the armpits. Natural deodorants, um, Tretter's body order using natural organic ingredients to eliminate the order. And the order is this what causes you bacteria when it's getting red there or when it's really stinky, then that's a sign of bacteria. Our ingredients, as you can see here, we have, and I give you the exact measurement if you want to do it at home. We have here organic virgin coconut oil here. Then we have beeswax here, of course organic. And then I have organic arrowroot powder. And we have here aluminum free, and this is very important, aluminum free baking soda. And I have some magnesium oxide powder. What you are doing, or what we are doing now together, this is a double boiler, I guess, a double broiler. I don't know. <laughs> so, and we put, oh, the measurements. You don't need a weight, a scale. You can take the one, one fourth cup and then you need the little one with one tablespoon. But as I said, I give you the measurements if you want to do it on your own um, later on. So first of all, we put in the coconut oil. Everything has to be melted together with the beeswax. And it's really hot here. Make sure you get everything together. So, and first of them, I will get these two waxes melted before I put in the other ingredients. It takes a moment. And you can also use, um, you can use a normal pot and you put, for example, such a jar in there. Um, but I always use this kind and it's handy for me. But as I said, you can always use this here, right? So, as I said, the ingredients, if you want to write it down, we have one fourth of a cup of the organic coconut oil. We have one fourth of a cup of the beeswax and these two ingredients are right now melting together. Then we need the one fourth cup of um, arrowroot powder. All right, and one fourth of a cup aluminum free baking soda, and also an eighth of a cup, which is two tablespoons of magnesium oxide. So now the waxes are nicely melted. Now let me put on some cloths so now we have the arrow root powder that's why I put on cloths to get all the powder out of the container and then we have the aluminium free baking soda and last but not least, one eighth of a cup of magnesium oxide. So you can turn out the oven or the stove. And now we have to stir everything together again. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm not using a spoon or anything. I'm using a wooden stick. The powder needs to be combining with the oil. 
And then this is optional. <clears throat> I put in five drops of tea tree essential oil. This is helping with, I have to be careful that it's not burning on. Uh, it's antibacterial and antioxidant, but as I said, this is optional, but I'm doing it just five drops. As you can see, I don't have a dropper. I use it with my eye measurement. And then you can, if you like it smell, then you can, can put in some um, essential oils or as my husband, he don't like the smell, he like it's nature. So that's up to you. You can put in um, lavender or peppermint or whatever your taste is. If you like a little bit of a yeah, nice odor from your deodorant. I don't because I have normal spray, perfume spray, and I don't want to get this mixed up together. It looks good. These are the containers now. And you can, you can get them for a couple of bucks at Amazon. And the only thing what you are doing now filling this mixture carefully. In this container. And here is your natural deodorant. I have a little bit left. May I can fill up a second one. And it takes about, if you need it urgently, it takes, I would say, half an hour when you put it in the freezer or you keep it outside, not with this heat, but then it takes maybe 24 hours. So overnight it will be nice so you can start using it. Let me see if this is enough for a second one. Yup. So I have two natural deodorants um, with the ingredients I said to you and I can blend it in in the video if you want to make it on your home. The difference again for the one we made right now um, to the one you can buy in the store, the deodorants in the store, they are full of harmful ingredients like aluminium, um, pro propylene glucose, glu <laughs> glu uh, this is for giving you skin irritation and talc and there are so much more um, in the deodorants you can buy over the counter but this is you know exactly what you put in it's healthy for your skin and as I said if you need a little bit of smell put some of your um, essential oils in there 10 to 20 drops um, what you think you like to smell for the deodorant all right I think this was everything in our new area um yeah as i said i will put the ingredients totally in the video or you can um leave a note and then then we can go ahead and give you the ingredients so you can make it on your own if you want um yeah and i think i don't have to say but <laughs> i will say it i'm your master herbalist i'm not a doctor and i cannot and i will not give you any medical advice we use this deodorant for a long time now I guess we have it now for two years in our product line, but we never ever showed you how you make it on your own. But here in our new setup in our shop, you can see it and you can write down and make it for your own. Okay, right. This was Ute from Ute Herbal Hitch, Hitch Corner. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Love and light.